Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangie and today is Friday and that means frugal family food. For this month, Amanda and I are showing you some winter squash recipes. You see them at the grocery store and a lot of folks don't know how to prepare them. Uh, since they're in season right now, they are very inexpensive. Most places you're able to get them for less than 50 cents per pound. Uh, I mentioned a recipe a few weeks ago in a grocery haul and a lot of you asked for me to share that recipe with you. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So come with me and we are going to prepare the spaghetti squash in a way that the whole family will love. To properly prepare a spaghetti squash, first you need a spaghetti squash. We're going to season ours today with fresh cracked black pepper, salt, and garlic powder, and we're also going to drizzle it with extra virgin olive oil. And I have my roasting pan prepared with a piece of parchment paper, and my oven is preheated to 375. We're going to begin by slicing the ends off of the spaghetti squash, and you guys, you're gonna need a good sharp knife and some elbow grease because spaghetti squash are pretty tough to cut through. You can see I'm kind of struggling here. Once we've got our beautiful squash opened up, we are going to scoop out the seeds. Next, we're going to drizzle some extra virgin olive oil over our squash. And then I just took a silicone pastry brush and brushed that olive oil all over the meat of the squash. Now I'm seasoning it to taste with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now we're gonna take our spaghetti squash and put it meat side down onto our roasting pan. And we're gonna roast this in the center of our oven for 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, so I've got just a few minutes left on the uh, spaghetti squash, so now let's work on the filling. You know a recipe is good when it calls for bacon. Now the original recipe said five pieces of bacon. I say, why stop at five? I cooked way more than five. Um, but while the bacon was frying, I went ahead and prepped my veggies. I sliced half an onion. You can use a whole onion, but I just used a half of one. And I had some mushrooms in the refrigerator that needed to be used. So I just went ahead and diced those up and put that in there. Once your bacon is finished, you're going to put it on a paper towel to drain and you want to reserve some of that bacon grease because you're going to cook your veggies in there. That's how you know it's good. And um, once my onions and my mushrooms are tender, then you're going to add in baby spinach. The original recipe, which I have linked to the description box below, calls for a whole bag of baby spinach, but I didn't use a whole bag. I use almost a whole bag. Isn't it fun to watch how spinach cooks down to nothing? I mean, the skillet was overflowing and now what? <laughs> Once our sp spinach and our mushrooms and our onions are done, we're going to add in our ricotta cheese. Again, the recipe calls for a couple of tablespoons, but why stop at a couple? I think I probably used about a half a cup or so. Once you stir this all together, the heat melts the cheese and it just makes an incredible filling. It is so, so good. Now let's turn our attention to the spaghetti squash. Once it's cool enough to touch, we're going to use a fork and we're just gonna rake it across the meat of the squash and you can see how the fibers loosen up and it truly does look like spaghetti noodles. Um, the texture, if you've never had one, is kind of like al dente spaghetti noodles. They have a slight crispness to them. They're very delicious, kind of sweet, have a little bit of a sweet flavor. Anyway, I'm just going through and I'm raking that flesh, getting all of those noodles loosened up so we can top it with our filling. This just makes it easier to spoon out later whenever you're ready to serve it. So now I'm taking my filling. I've kind of divided it in half uh, in the pan. So I'm just taking each half and putting it uh, over the top of the spaghetti squash. 
What, doesn't this look amazing? But wait, there's more. You remember that bacon? Oh yeah, it's coming back to the party, don't worry. We're gonna take that bacon, crumble it up, and put it on top of our filling, and then, and then, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, it does, with some shredded Parmesan cheese. Yes, indeed, now it's gonna go back into the oven. I put mine under the broiler on low for a couple of minutes just for the cheese to melt and turn brown. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Look at that. Would you look at that? Look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> to serve it out, you just scoop from the bottom. Um, the best I can tell you, scoop from the bottom. And I didn't realize at the time, but I took that whole cap of Parmesan cheese and bacon. Sorry, not sorry. Um, but yeah, you just wanna scoop it and get some of the noodles out with the filling. And oh my word, it is so good. It is so stinking good. Just look at it. Just look at it. Okay, so let's give this a try. You've gotta try this recipe. It's a fantastic way to eat spaghetti squash. And of course, if your family doesn't like onions or mushrooms, you can certainly do without it. Um, but I would definitely say stick with the spinach, stick with the cheese. Wow, this is super duper good. You're gonna to wanna to try this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.